What you're about to hear is an interview with Gwen Stefani, heard originally on the Z Morning Zoo on Z100 New York, and downloaded exclusively from Z100.com. Brought to you by Virgin Mobile. Now, Virgin Mobile can save everybody without a long-term contract. With three ways to pay as you go. Minute-to-minute, day-to-day, and the new month-to-month service. Visit VirginMobileUSA.com for details. It is Carolina and Danielle hanging out with Gwen Stefani. Hey, how you doing? Doing great. So, it's your first solo tour. What's different about coming out on your own rather than with your group? There's huge differences. I mean, I basically, I spent a lot of time in New York. I was here for the um, fashion show that I did, so I was here for about a month. And I rolled right over to L.A., right into the tour. Like, I mean, it was absolutely insane because there was not even a day off. And um, there's so much to get together because it's all new, like a whole new band. I got four new dancers. It's like, no doubt, you just ad-lib the whole thing. Right. You play the same songs you've known since you're 15 years old. You know what I mean? Definitely a lot, lot of love from the fans. But who are the fans now? I mean, that's what's wild. I look out there, I'm like, wait a minute. Everybody. It's everyone. It's like, it the, is. it's such a different crowd than even what with No Doubt. You know, last year at this time, we toured our Greatest Hits record, which is just an ama- like amazing tour because every song that we played was a song that was on the radio. It was like, bam, bam, bam. You got yeah. that one? You know that one? Bam. What about that one? <laughs> it was just like, it was insane. And um, this is, is insane in a whole different way because to be able to have one album, and I'm not even playing No Doubt songs, and to have people come out, sell out Madison Square Garden, I mean, it, it's outrageous. I'm just... I'm on cloud nine. Checking out iTunes. You were the first person to have a million songs downloaded. The first one to ever cross that mark. That must have been pretty cool. It's wild. I feel like I need to get someone to download in my brain all this stuff so I can really imagine it's true because nothing seems real. You know, the only thing that feels real is when... I'm doing Hollaback Girl at the end of the show and everyone's singing it back and they're just so happy and it's just so powerful and that song was such a magical song you know who would have known we were just up three in the morning kind of like last minute didn't wasn't even gonna write another song you know my record was done and oh my like, yeah I love when that happens <laughs> I mean what even made you in the first place want to go out on your own and do with the solo thing it was very simple um we were on the rock steady tour actually we were gonna take our first break ever and um I just said to Tony I said wouldn't it be fun to do a dance record and I really thought it was gonna be something we would just do like really kind of um fun easy you know in the closet kind of thing and it just turned into this huge project and it's like the simpler things sometimes are the harder things to do you know like uh, it's really easy to kind of like get your heart broken and kind of like spill it out into a song I mean it's just more natural but to go okay how am I going to say everybody freaking get up and dance like again (laughs) that's going to be interesting you know and it wasn't even like my inspiration really this music and like I listened to it when I was in high school you know what I mean like I loved all that music but I was really into ska music and you know when you're a teenager you'd be like I, I really like Prince but right. shh, don't tell anyone <laughs> you know everyone's saying oh Madonna's biting Gwen's style you know Shut what is up. this all about Whatever. don't you feel like they try to pit people against each other yeah yeah it's funny I mean the thing is is that I clearly clearly ripped off Madonna on this album. I mean, that was, I, it was a conversation I had with her at her house saying, guess what? I'm doing a dance record, you know, very inspired by the early, like, you know, into the groove type songs where you just want to get up and dance on the dance floor. So I wanted to bring that, you know, I wanted to bring that feeling into this album, you know, amongst other, all the other artists I always mention, she's definitely one of them musically on this record. But um, yeah, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, there's, everyone's individual and we all kind of draw from different inspirations or the same inspirations and it's never going to come out the same you know so. thank you so much for hanging out <laughs> thank and chatting you with us, thanks for playing the record